Good morning. Good morning. get hot breakfast every morning pig feed and water and they are ready what's up ladies are you hungry say yeah we're hungry give us our food so Now I gotta feed chickens. I'm all, I'm gonna get this lady back here to help out. All right, so, <clears throat> so we're gonna move some chickens today and the plan is, plan is to get that tractor over here in this side of the yard. Normally I would move it by hand, but it is very um, heavy. I just made it very heavy, so we need to move it. So I'm gonna pull it with the truck. I'm gonna try to pull it with the truck and not destroy the tractor. Because if I destroy the tractor, then I'm in trouble. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the wheels on the front so the lips don't catch on any um, any grass. Let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about here. Um, so the edges won't catch on any grass. I'm gonna put these on hopefully this will help let's give this a try we got a helper helping us out yeah My so muscles. muscles she's gonna keep an eye on that thing while i pull it this might not end well we'll see got close we pretty much got to the end and then we didn't make it so it's okay we're going to uh, show you the carnage and then we'll fix it I can fix this split in the middle so we didn't make it but I think I can fix it so I'm gonna try and fix it I'm gonna bring it together and then clamp two boards um, just across the whole front of the piece and I think we'll be okay. So we'll go back to the garage, gather up the supplies, fix that. Then it's time to put chickens out on grass. I am, I'm ready. I'm ready to put the chickens out on grass.
about to go get some chicks and put them in there. So here we go. Meanwhile, Mama Piper is inside having contractions. So the good thing about that is we usually got like a little bit of time before puppies come. Here is an awesome plum setting tip. If you can find free or cheap dog crates, get them. Super versatile. You can put a number of different animals in them. We have used these dog crates for chickens, for ducks, for pigs, so and for dogs. Well, they use a dog crate when we went to pick them up. So, super versatile thing to have on the farm. Um, and you can get them pretty cheap. So you can find them sometimes off of Facebook Marketplace for 20 to 40 bucks, depending on the size. This one we got for free, um, but we have used them to transport birds and uh, we'll be using them for puppies too here pretty soon. But um, perfect thing to have on the homestead and to have in different sizes if you're able to. Everybody's in the tractor. Well, not everybody. 50, uh, or I'm sorry, 43, 42 people are in the tractor. Um, these guys were a little small. There's about uh, 11 of them left. We, we had 61 all together. So there were about 11 of them left. And um, I'm gonna let them grow a little bit more in there. They're just really, really small. And so, um, like significantly smaller. And I know we had some that were a week younger, um, but still these, like some of these guys don't even have their feathers colored yet. They're still like yellow. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep them in there and just watch them and let them grow some more. And then we'll, uh, we actually need to make another tractor because we, we need a little bit more space. Um, so I'll do that. I'll make another tractor and I'll put those 11 guys in that tractor and um, they'll be like a little small batch. Maybe we'll keep them. I don't know, maybe we'll keep them. But um, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go inside and let's see if we've got, uh, see if we got puppies. Probably not. I know we were having some contractions. We were having some contractions earlier. How we doing? Still pregnant. Still pregnant, girl? Are we gonna have puppies soon now? Yeah. Yeah? Some good contractions going on. Some good contractions. Yeah, you look like you're feeling a little rough. Yeah. Okay. Good. Here we go. You excited for puppies? Yes. Yeah. And then we got the midwife over here. Yeah. Hello, midwife. All right. Well, now we just sit and wait. We just sit and wait.
taking a break from puppies and um we got eight we got eight so far we feel one more uh maybe two but definitely one more um we came out here earlier to check on the chickens that we put out it's gonna it's supposed to get a little bit colder than what i would like um so i might come out here and check on them tonight maybe run a heat lamp out here just for tonight i mean it's supposed to be like 20 or 25 but uh there they are so they're doing pretty good um they were running around a lot today so that was good they're they should be well hardened off but just you know it 20 degrees is kind of cold in the 20s is kind of cold so um i don't know we'll see what happens we also came out here and put this down better than what we had um and we just kind of surveyed the rest of it um it's got a good amount of covering of wood chips and stuff over it but gotta start thinking about what we're gonna plant because we got some stuff inside and how we want to lay it out let me just walk you through this real quick and then i think i'm gonna call it a day we're gonna see if we can deliver one or two more puppies make some dinner and that's it and I'm the worst at picking stuff up sometimes. Um, so over here, we're thinking a trellis system for peas and beans. Um, and then beside that, maybe some tomatoes. So like starting where the tarp is, some tomatoes and then some leafy greens. Um, I don't think we planted any, any kind of onions or leeks or anything. And the beets that we had haven't shown up yet so i don't know if we're gonna get any beets but the garden is definitely one of those things that is lacking um knowledge of gardening which honestly it's super easy i know it is but it's just not something that we've put a lot of like effort into learning and doing efficiently um so Unlike the chickens and the pigs, um, the garden is just not something that we've done a lot of effort to accomplish. Like we had a, we had an okay like spring, I mean a fall garden, um, and then here recently we haven't had as much. Um, we didn't expect a lot though, um, because because the um, soil needed a bunch of nitrogen and stuff in soil so we started running chickens like super super early and uh yeah that's kind of i think that's part of the reason why we haven't had such a good turnout on our garden and we haven't put a lot of effort and time into it because we've just been letting the soil heal um and then we're gonna give it a shot so um we'll keep you guys up to date on the puppies and we'll keep you guys up to date on the garden uh looks like like in the next couple of days we're gonna put some more compost down try to get some stuff tarped off um but that's that's the end of this video we're gonna call it a day try to go get the rest of the puppies done um and then have some dinner go to bed early we were up late last night um if you liked the video please hit the subscribe button and share it with your friends as we're growing this community with you guys and we'd like you to have like to have you along for the ride so until next time guys we'll see you in the next one bye guys